Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Amen. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today is first Friday of the month, the first day of September. We offer this Eucharist in honor of the most sacred heart of Jesus. Let us ask the Lord Jesus to make our hearts like his heart. Also today, the Church, the Universal Church, celebrates the World Day of Prayer for the care of creation. We know the effects if we mishandle the environment. We are the ones going to suffer. And so, we are being made aware that we are responsible for our environment. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge our sins, especially those sins that neglected the environment that is being given to us by the Lord. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I, I have, have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what, what I have failed, failed to do. Through, through my fault, <coughs> through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, you my brothers and sisters, sisters to, to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love, that conformed to his image, we may merit a share in eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the Lord Jesus that as you receive from us how you should conduct yourselves to please God, and as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. This is the will of God, your holiness, that you refrain from immorality, 
that each of you know how to acquire a wife for himself in holiness and honor, not in lustful passion, as do the Gentiles who do not know God, not to take advantage of or exploit a brother or sister in this matter. For the Lord is an avenger in all these things, as we told you before and solemnly affirmed. For God did not call us to impurity, but to holiness. Therefore, whoever disregards this, disregards not a human being, but God, who also gives his Holy Spirit to you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all his peoples see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the lives of his faithful ones. From the hand of the wicked, he delivers them. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Light dawns for the just, and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flask of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom! Come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feasts with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you neither, for you know neither the day nor the hour.
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Yesterday, in the Gospel, the Lord warned the disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Stay awake. Be ready. Laging handa. Today, in the Gospel, it is not about being awake. It's, it's not about staying awake all the time. Because you must have noticed that the ten virgins, all of them slept. All of them slept. But only five were able to enter the house with the bride. So what is the basic message of the gospel of today? It's not only about being, stake, being st staying awake. It is about thinking not only of the present, but also of the future. Para po maintindihan natin ang Ibanghelyo, kailangan magkaroon tayo ng kaunting background sa kostumbre ng kasalan nung panahon ni Jesus. Ngayon, kapag nagpapakasal kayo o nagpapakasal ang isang uh, uh, couple, alam nila kung anong pecha, kung anong oras, kung saan. September 1, 1.30, Manila Cathedral. Mamaya po yun. May kasal ako. Pero nung panahon ni Jesus, hindi alam kung kailan darating ang lalaking ikakasal. Maaaring sa araw na ito, maaaring kinabukasan, maaaring sa umaga, pero madalas sa gabi. Bakit nade-delay ang kasal, ang pagdating ng lalaking ikakasal? Kasi ang isang dahilan ay nakikipag-negotiate pa siya do sa pamilya ng babae kung ano pa ang pwede niyang maibigay kapalit ng kanyang pakakasalan. Maaaring kung maganda yung babae, sasabihin ng mga kamag-anak, eh, please, Add more gifts. Give more gifts. We are giving you away a beautiful daughter. And then negotiations happen. And once negotiations are over, then the bride, can, the, the groom can take the bride home. And that is where the bridesmaids, the virgins, become useful. Why? Because at night, they have to light the road or the way of the bride and the bridegroom, of the groom. Kailangan malinaw, maliwanag ang kanilang dadaanan kasi kasama ng lalaki ang kanyang babaeng pinakasalan. So, for anyone to be able to to do his her duty he must think she must think not only of to, of the present she must also think of the future baka ma-delay ang pagdating kailangan ready ako so ang sulo na daladala niya ay may langis pero hindi lamang yon dapat meron siyang extra Nang maubos ko, upang kung maubos yung, yung langis sa kanyang sulo, meron siyang mailalagay para hindi maging madilim ang dadaanan ng mga ikakasal. Kaya, maiintindihan natin kung bakit yung limang matatalino hindi binigyan ng langis yung mga limang hindi nag-isip. Sabi, sabi nila, baka mamaya, 
maubusan kayo, maubusan din kami, pare-pareho tayong may hawak ng sulo na walang ilaw. Mabuti pa, matira kami dito, humanap kayo na ang mabibilhan ng langis, and then, sumabol na lamang kayo. They thought, the wise virgins thought, not only of the present, but also of the future. I think that is one message to us. Let us not think only of the present. Let's think of what is going to happen in the future. Nag-iipon po kayo. Nag-iipon kayo ng pera, nag-iipon kayo sa bangko, bumibili kayo ng mga ari-arian, alahas, investment. Kasi sasabihin nyo, well, para pagdating ng araw na kailanganin ko, meron akong mahuhugot. Meron akong makukuha. Hindi mo lamang iniisip yung ngayon. Iniisip mo rin yung posibleng mangyari sa hinaharap. That is being wise. But my dear brothers and sisters, if we save material things for the future, should we not also think of how we can save not material things but langit points for the future? Baka ang iniisip lamang natin ay yung, yung, yung buhay ko dito. Paano na kapag dumating yung araw na tawagin ako ng Diyos? Ano ang maipakikita ko sa kanyang naipon. Ipagmamalaki ba natin sa kanya yung ating mga bank accounts? Ipagmamalaki ba natin sa kanya yung ating mga properties? Ipagmamalaki ba natin yon? Baka sabihin ng Diyos, sa akin din galing yan eh. Anong pwede nating ipunin? para sa langit. Langit points. What are our langit points? Mostly, they are good deeds. Mostly, they are kindness shown to others. Mostly, they are works of charity. At mas sikreto, mas mainam. Mi pogi points ba tayo? Pero pinag-iipunan ba natin yung langit points? Let us not only think of the present, think also of the future. Amen. Please all stand. The gospel message reminds us to be wise and vigilant. As we wait for the coming of the Lord Jesus, let us pray for the world He has redeemed. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may read the signs of the times and constantly remind God's people of the eternal dimension of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That young people may remain hopeful and, to, and enthusiastic about life. May their idealism aid them in pursuing great things in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those discouraged and wounded by life may not grow bitter, but grow fresh strength and hope from Christ, who promised us His presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the dying may look to Christ with hope and penitent trust. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that those who have died may join the Lord in his kingdom forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us pray for the intentions being offered in this Mass, as well as our personal needs. Father of time and eternity, grant the petitions we have made as we wait for the coming of Christ, your gift of eternal wisdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept <clears throat> the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness gave us your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised, raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that won over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family, we pray to our common Father in heaven. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Made partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The exhibit on the personal memorabilia of Cardinal Sin is ongoing at your right side in one of the chapels. And inside the chapel, the exhibit, there is there uh, a box no? uh, to which you can drop your prayer of petitions before the image of our, miracle, our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. It was Cardinal Saint's uh, experience that uh, prior to his ordination as priest, he wrote a letter to the Lady of the Miraculous Medal asking her for a sign. And uh, she answered uh, his prayers. So we also invite you to uh, write down your petitions and drop it to the uh, box before the image of the Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Marina, in Anang Awa.